Yes, okay. let's Straight do it. Hi. <laughs> 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 Hi, I am a sex worker and a sensual masseur. So to be honest, I feel like I've got more bookings. I guess everyone needs more sex in this time of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yes, yeah, so a lot more people are calling in any time of the day or any time of the week. So when I was very young, I was very, um, I didn't have the confidence, I was dreaming, having nightmares about being naked in front of people and stuff. Uh, but then I, I had a contact with a filmmaker and he asked me to do a, a artistic porn video. And then I have the balls to say, yes, I want to do this and then I want to achieve what I wanted to be. I wanted to be more open and I wanted to be more myself because I think uh, I should be more confident with my body and everything so I start doing this video with him and then we filmed it um, and then I liked it when it was uh, finished I loved it and I loved how it looked and everything so from there I started to be more open and then where I am now so that's a <laughs> tricky one I guess uh, you need to separate uh, life and work and that's in every job. I just try to enjoy what I do and I always do. Um, I met very nice people. Yeah. In my private life, I guess, well, maybe I have more better sex in my work than, than in my uh, private life. Um, but that is because I, I found new fetishes in uh, from work that I didn't know if I was enjoying it. So yes, maybe I prefer doing what I do. I never ask for pictures because for me it's a job and I just think about the money, pay my rent, pay my bills. I'm not going to look at someone differently because he's fat or because he's um, old or because he's handsome. It's just the same money. Uh, as long as they bring the cash, I they have the best service, of course. So most of the times I meet them at mine, so they are in calls, which I prefer because I'm always late, so <laughs> never late. <laughs> Um, but then obviously some of them, I guess they're scared they don't want to meet at their places because you know you meet someone you don't even know and you take them to the, your place. Uh, for me, I don't really, I'm not scared of that because you know they come into my room. Um, I never had any problems with anyone, they're very nice people, I never had any, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm not late. I. I'm in my room, I don't need to go anywhere, I don't spend in travel, in transport. And then, obviously if you want to do an app call, they need to pay a bit more because of their um, transport. So maybe that's maybe that's a thing for them as well. Um, but yeah, then maybe they don't want to relate it to uh, their life because, you know, bringing someone to your house that is an escort, you bring in some thoughts, some memories from your house to that and they maybe they want to separate it, so then they just go to somewhere else where they don't know. So I use a website and then there's a lot of websites out there. Many of them I don't even know, but I just use the one that works for me. Yes, so as I was saying, I prefer massage because I realise obviously that it's, my, it's a bit of a fetish for me to touch a body um, and then, you know, go through someone's body when you really like um, that body, I mean, no matter if, it's, if you're straight or gay, and then you're touching your body, obviously you get turned on by it, and uh, you're naked as well, so that's something I realised I really like from um, massage, that I didn't know, and I realised with this job, uh, and then obviously there's uh, the extras, many of the time, many of the times you don't finish the massage, obviously, which I really like because that means I'm doing my job very well, I guess, and they get turned on um, and that makes me makes me be on as well, like that, that makes me hard. But obviously, I mean, I always get hard before them anyways because it's, it became my fetish.
Is it good? Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you can come out, baby. <laughs> I'm allowed to come out now.